Friends, Paul here at the Rojobi Music Workshop. Uh, and I have an assistant with me today. Uh, hello, my name is Earth. Okay, this is Earth. Um, he's been uh, a customer of mine on and off for a, a year or two. And um, now he actually comes in at the weekends to help us out. Um, does a few odd jobs around the place uh, to help us and he welcomes the customers and um, gets them to sign in and things. So he's really, really uh, very helpful. He's very polite and very friendly. So I'm really glad to have him working here with us. And um, today uh, we have uh, a ukulele which belongs to a friend of mine. Um, he brought it in because the bridge has come off. So this is a Fender ukulele. Um, I'll just, for those of the, you, you that are interested, the model is uh, it's a Fender Seaside, <laughs> if that makes any sense. It does have a serial, serial number as well, but it's about 13 digits long, so I'm not going to read that out. Um, I'm assuming it actually is a genuine Fender. Um, but they, they clearly spend their money on their guitars and not so much on the ukuleles. Um, first of all, it, it's all laminate. It's not, it's not solid wood from what I can see. Yeah, it's def definitely a laminate top. Um, and I would say the back and the sides are laminate as well. Um, it has a plastic nut. Um, it has quite basic tuners and um, the strings I'm not sure I guess they're quite standard as well now this uh, bridge that came off it I don't have one here to compare it with but this is really really small I have actually fixed this one before um, but it, it's come away again now the problem is uh, the foot of this the, the surface area is just too small um, so you know, there's not really enough gluing area to to keep this secure. Um, bear in mind that when, when this is all up to tension, it's about a hundred pounds of tension on pulling on that tiny little bridge. That's an awful lot of tension. So I am going to glue it back on, but I'm also going to um, drill two holes through here. It's quite drastic, drill two holes through here and through the body of the ukulele and I'm going to insert dowels in there to, to secure it in place. Um, unfortunately I don't have any dowels this colour but I do have some uh, wood stains so you will still see them um, but I'm going to make sure it's as aesthetically pleasing as possible and um, it, it will look quite neat and tidy once I've finished and it will be a lot stronger. Um, but I'm going to do this in two stages. I'm going to reattach the bridge first uh, and then when that's fully set up I will then drill the holes and insert the dowels. Um, there's no point trying to do it all at once because you know you'll have problems with alignment and you know getting everything to stay in place. So I'm going to do it in two stages. So the first thing I need to do is to clean up uh, the surfaces. You see that there is a bit of um, uh, wood tear out on there and all the old glue uh, but thankfully it hasn't really caused any damage as such to the top here it's, it's, you can see the two areas where the the wood pulled away but it's not come past uh, where the edge of the bridge will be so it's not too bad um, so that's the first thing I need to do is clean up the gluing surfaces so let me just uh, angle the camera where you're going to see what I'm doing Okay, hopefully that will stay still. So I'll start with the bridge because it's a bit easier. So we'll just put that to one side. Chisel, thank you, Earth. Okay, so um, I need to just scrape off uh, the glue and the wood that's on the back of this bridge, first of all. Um, it's quite easy to do on the bridge. Okay, and um, because I use for anything like this I always use the uh, tight bond original um, which is a very very good wood glue but the, the other good side of it is it's quite easy to clean up when you need to 
uh, re-glue something. So this is the relatively easy stage to be honest. Um, cleaning up the, the top of the ukulele is <coughs> it's the same process but it's quite a bit more difficult because you have to be so careful not to do any further damage. So that's most of the glue off. We'll just clean up the edges as well. Okay, that's not too bad. You can't see what I'm doing now. Obviously I want to be careful not to cut any of my fingers off as well, because they're quite useful. Uh, okay, that's the majority of the glue off. Um, I, don't want, I want to be careful not to gouge any of the wood out. We need to lose as little as possible of the wood from this anyway, because it's so tiny. It really isn't suitable for this job. Uh, I'm, I'm quite surprised at uh, fender I thought the quality would be a little bit better but we work with what we've got and it should be fine okay so that is uh, the majority of the glue off you can still see some remnants of glue so I'll just use some very coarse sandpaper it's actually 120 um, just to for two, two reasons I'll be using the, the 120. First of all, to remove the last of the glue, um, but also to um, give the, the surface a little bit of roughness for the glue to stick to. Um, if the surface is too smooth, um, the glue will actually not stick to it as well. So by using a very coarse sandpaper, you put light grooves in the wood surface um, which really helps the glue to bond much much better okay so I'll just uh, touch up the edges as well a little bit of glue on the edge okay I think that'll be fine uh, Maybe a little bit more in the middle. Okay, that should be fine. So that is how quick that is to prepare that. Now, for the ukulele itself, um, it's a little bit more delicate. Obviously one slight slip and I've, you know, damage the, the top of the instrument. So I'm going to have to be very very careful here. Um, first of all I'm going to uh, remove the, the bulk of the glue around the edges very very carefully. So th this chisel is very sharp and it's very true um, so it should be okay provided I uh, work in the right direction. Now the last thing you want to do is work from your work area outwards because you've got a high chance of, of damaging this top. So I want to come from outside of the work area and work into it. Okay, so this, this back edge isn't so bad, but I've got to be so, so careful not to mark the top. Okay. Let's turn it around and do the other edge. This, this top edge is actually a little bit worse. So, so there we go, that is actually a chunk of glue. So that's how I want it to come off. I want it to come off in, in pieces like that. Being so, so careful not to damage the top of the instrument. It's a very crucial part, this. going quite well.
So you see earth, how I'm um, just making sure I go in this way. Okay, if I try and come out that way, we're going to have all sorts of problems. And it's, it's really important to have your tools ultra sharp. Um, people say that sharp tools are dangerous. Well, they are if you don't use them properly. But if you do, they're much, much safer than a blunt tool. You are much, li much more likely to be injured from blunt tools than you are from sharp tools if you use them correctly. Okay. <clears throat> so there's no need to rush this part. You've got to make sure that you remove the glue whilst moving as little as possible of the actual wood. However, because there is a little bit of chip out, I will be um, just shaving the top layer of wood off, but taking off as minimal amount as possible. Um, because the tops of these are already very thin, I would say that's 2 to 2.5 millimetres thick, the top of this instrument. So if I take half a millimetre off, I've taken away about 20% of its strength, uh, which is not what you want at all. So that's cleaning up quite nicely. Just taking off a little piece at a time. Okay. So it's going to be much of the same of this for the next probably 20 to 30 minutes. So I'm sure you don't want to sit and watch me do this. So I'm going to pause the video here and I'll bring you back um, when I've got this more or less leveled. Okay, so I'll see you in one second. Okay, so I've been doing um, a bit more work uh, on this off camera and I've got all the glue off and got it nice and... Uh, smooth ready for the gluing okay now for some reason i don't know if you're going to be able to see it but this bridge originally had two screws inside the saddle slot going through there and and into the body why i don't know that's absolutely ludicrous so these two screw heads are underneath the the saddle uh, which is obviously going to cause issues with, you know, um, the saddle being level and stable. Um, so I've, I've actually got the screws in there ha about halfway in. Now the reason I'm putting them in at this stage is I'm going to use them as uh, locating pins for gluing the bridge back on. And then when it's glued, I'm going to re remove those screw screws and put them in the bin because that's where they belong. Um, so I'm using them for now just to locate the bridge where it should be and once that's in place it doesn't move Okay, so I can use those for location to hold it in place while I'm gluing it then once the glue is set I'll take the screws out and uh, it, it will be it will just make sure it stays in exactly the right position it doesn't move while I'm clamping it now um, could you just get me that whole box, the whole box? Thank you. Oh, yeah, it's quite heavy. <laughs> so, um, I've got my box of clamps, many, many different types of clamps. So, the normal guitar type clamp, this, this type, isn't going to work on here. Um, because this one is designed to go through the, your bridge pin holes and clamp it all down. This doesn't have bridge pin holes, okay? Uh, and even if it did, this is this is way too big. It's, it's just far too big for this application. So that's no good. Um, I also have clamps uh, like this, um, which will go uh, through the sound hole and then onto the bridge and clamp it down that way. But this is far too big for this little ukulele. So I've had to come up with um, another way of clamping this bridge on. Now, what I've done... I've got this uh, piece of wood here and on the other side I've actually cut out uh, the shape of 
this bridge. Okay, I've just, just cut out a shallow piece there so that I can then place that on top of the bridge. That way around. Okay, that's going to locate itself on the top of the bridge like that and not move. Then I'm going to have a clamp either side and clamping through the entire body. Um, I can't just put clamps straight on here and clamp that way uh, because it's going to put uh, too much pressure on the body top and back and could easily crack it. So with this uh, resting on top of there and then the clamps at either end, I'm using the strength of the side of the instrument to prevent any cracking. Okay, so um, I'm not just handsome, I'm also quite clever. <laughs> so that's how I'm going to do it. Um, so we'll also need two of these, two of these clamps and one of these. So you can put the box back on the floor now, thank you. Okay, so uh, so th this is, it's very important to get this this part of the operation perfect because if I if I don't then I've, I've basically got to remove this bridge and start again right so uh, no more talking required let's just get on with the job so um, paintbrush uh, the pink one no good, <laughs> uh, no good. okay We've got some new paint brushes in, in the packet there. Look. That's it there. We get a new paint brush. Uh, let's see, we'll have one of the. What colour do you like? Um, I like purple. You like purple? Well, okay, let's go with a purple one then. I like purple too. <laughs> right, put those back for me. Okay, so um, it's important to make sure we get enough glue on here uh, to. You know to stick everything together um, but we don't want too much because when you clamp it down you're going to get glue squeeze out all over the place it's just going to make a mess so we want enough glue but not too much and uh, what I do is I just put um, a small smear of glue on the bridge itself uh, and then use a brush just to even it out Might need a bit more glue on there. It's probably not quite enough. Yeah, a little bit more. Okay, so yeah, you need enough glue, but you, you don't need too much glue. So it is most important to make sure you have 100% coverage. So you cover every little bit of the wood. But you can see it's very thin on there. I don't have a lot of glue on there, but that is enough. The most important thing is to make sure that the glue is evenly spread over the whole surface. Okay, so I'll just put that to one side and I'll do the same on the instrument itself. Okay, and again, not too much, um, but making sure we've got 100% coverage. It doesn't matter if I get a little bit of glue around the edge, I can easily wipe it up. But as I said, if you use too much glue, it's all going to squeeze out and it's going to make a horrendous mess, which you don't want. Okay, so just make sure we've got every little bit of the wood covered in glue. That's the most important part. And then any excess around the edge, I can always clean up afterwards quite easily. There we go. So that's all completely covered in a very thin layer of glue. But that, again, is enough. Into the pot, please. Okay, so next I'll get the bridge located using those screws as locating pins. There we go. So already just squeezing down with my fingers, you can see quite a lot of glue squeeze out already. So uh, we will get that cleaned up straight away. Um, we need some clean water, one second. Um, there we 
there we go. So it's just, just a little bit of kitchen towel with water on it. And I'll just clean up the excess of the glue first. Okay. And every time I push down on that, a little bit more glue squeezes out. So I, I know two things. First of all, I've got enough glue in there. And secondly, I know that it's making contact all the way across, which is good. That's exactly what you want. So now I'll get a dry cloth and just uh, finish cleaning that up. So we will get a little bit of water staining on the surface, but I can clean all that up later. That is not a problem. So it's kind of cleaned up. Uh, and it will squeeze out more again once, once I uh, clamp it down. But because of the, the clamping method I'm using with this, I'm not really going to be able to clean it up whilst it's clamped. So that's why I want to get the majority of this glue out now, the squeeze out, um, because it will be quite difficult to clean it up once it's clamped. Right, where's the top? There we go. Put that back on the bench for me, thank you. Okay, so now using this uh, core, which is the shape of the bridge cut into it, place that on top. There we go. And I'm going to use one of these clamps at either end, um, but it's very, very important to use uh, some leather pads on the back of the instrument to prevent any uh, marking. So I'm quite glad my assistant's here at the moment because this is going to be kind of at least two pairs of hand job. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> it's a job for two pairs of hands. Sorry. <laughs> so um, we put the leather pad on the bottom of the clamp there, which goes on the bottom of the instrument. Okay, and then start to tighten that up. But obviously, it's going to yeah, do that. So, Earth, if you could just hold that in place for me. Okay, let's just get that located. Right, one second. Okay, so if you just hold it, that's it, in the middle of that. Get located. Okay, so just press down there, that's it. While I get the first clamp on. Just going to lift it up so that it stays in place. Okay, so you keep holding that, and we'll get the clamp on the other side in exactly the same way. Okay. Right. Should be good. Okay, so that they're in place. I've not actually clamp them down just yet. Now I am going to put another clamp in the middle, but put very, very light pressure on that. Obviously because, as I said, it can, you can easily crack the front or the back of the instrument if you use too much pressure. So once again, another leather pad on the underside of the clamp. And that will Put the pressure down in the middle. Okay, yeah, that's good. So I'm not going to put too much pressure on here. A little bit more on these ones. Looks like that might be good enough. Just ease the pressure down on this one. Really don't want too much on there at all. 
that's as far as I'm going to go with that because I can see it just starting to press the back in a bit so I'll make sure these ones are good and tight Ooh, probably a bit too much pressure I need to release that a bit yeah that was a bit too much you really don't need a great deal of pressure if you've got your gluing surfaces prepared well enough and I think liking that, I'm not liking that at all. I think, uh, I think what I'm going to do is move these clamps around. Yeah, I'm not liking that. I'm going to try and move them around. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm not liking that. So I'm going to take these ones off and I'm going to use two of these in the middle there, but just be very, very careful about how much pressure I'm putting on them. So let's just move that one across. Let's take it off and start again. Okay. While I'm here, I'll just get some more of that glue squeeze out off of the... I mean, the, the clamping is the most important part of the glue job. Well, apart from making sure you've got good glue contact. If you don't clamp properly, it, it's irrelevant what glue you have on there because it's, if you don't clamp properly, it's just not going to work. So it, the, the clamping is really, really 